Hey guys, welcome to the video. A question I get put to me often enough is how long does it take to go from knowing absolutely nothing about code to being able to write commercially viable code to get an entry level job or start freelancing, etc. Of course, it depends on you. It depends on how often do you work? Are you going to put 20 minutes a day or three hours a day? Are you going to work five days a week or three days a week? Also depends on your aptitudes, right? Some people can learn things a little bit more quickly than others. At the end of the day, let me tell you from experience, it doesn't really matter how long it takes you, whether it takes you three months or six months, who cares? Because once you have the knowledge, it's yours for life and it's a super valuable skill set. So whether you're 16 years old or 60 years old, you can get value from learning this stuff. There is no other profession, no other profession that allows you to get to financial independence as quickly and as easily as coding. Think about it. Any university requ required professions, accounting, uh, legal, medical, etc., you got to do years of school for that. So even the trades, plumbing, electrician, you got to do years of school for that. The amazing, the amazing thing about software development and coding is that there's such a huge demand there's such a huge demand, and because people can test your skills very easily, right, to see if you can build the sites, they see if you can build the CRUD operations, to see if you can install, implement WordPress or Shopify or PayPal or Stripe. This is all very seeable, viewable. You can use Vue, you can do React, very viewable. So as a result of those two things, heavy demand and an obvious execution of your skills, or an obvious demonstration of your skills, they hire people without having a degree. It's the one profession where there's such high pay and yet uh, you don't need a degree. So it's a great way to get into uh, the fast track to financial independence. That's ultimately my goal with all my training and all my videos. You go back through my YouTube collection, you go into my mentoring program where I include courses on money management and I include course on entrepreneurship and course courses on how to manage your brain and your mind and your lizard brain and your higher brain and all this kind of stuff. Very important if you want to uh, find yourself in a good position. The one thing, and I'm going to do a dedicated video on this, the one thing I found over the years that separates people who do really well and people who don't do so well, more like this, do really well and not so well, is not so much intellectual capacity, not whether you're smart enough, 99% of you are more than smart enough. It's whether or not you have emotional stability and you're able to be consistent. Emotional stability is the root of consistency. So very important. That's why I did this course called Lizard Wizard on managing your emotions, understanding the operating systems of your brain, why you feel compelled to do things and not compelled to do other things. Once you understand the operating system of your brain, well, there's two of them, it makes learning to code much easier. It makes building your career much easier. It makes building wealth much easier. So back to the original question, how long does it take to learn how to code until you are productive? Somebody sent me a breakdown, detailed breakdown, how much time they put in, in hours and daytime. And I'm gonna overlay it here or on my face so you can see it. And if you look here, so they list out the courses they took, starting at the top, Web Foundations, then they did HTML5 Foundations, CSS3 Foundation, JS Foundations, PHP, etc. So this student showed how long it took them to do that, how many days, how many hours of training, etc. So you can see, for this particular student, to get through all those courses, all uh, six of them, it took 99 hours of actual study time, 99 hours. Uh, 50 days, so just under two months, and they were able to complete all of this. Once you do this set of courses, you will be very comfortable with code. You will feel comfortable exploring different opportunities. You could start getting entry-level jobs here. All kinds of different opportunities will open up to you. You got you to understand something about software development. Nobody knows close to 5% of what's happening out there in the software world. Nobody does. Even if you are, for example, an expert in JavaScript and Node.js, and you know a bit of React, you probably know maybe 20% of that particular stack. 
let alone everything else out there. This is normal. One of the big parts of the job as a professional developer is to be able to learn things on the fly. I've been doing this stuff since 1994, and I can tell you without a doubt, I literally have forgotten much more than I remember today. That being said, it will take me just a few hours, maybe a day, to get back up to speed on stuff that I've long forgotten. And to learn something totally new, it will probably take me just a few days to get up to speed with that as well, simply because of my experience. The analogy I like to make, it's kind of like learning how to drive standard. Once you learn how to drive stick on a Porsche or a BMW, you basically know how to drive standard on any car that is out there. All right, I hope that helps. We'll talk soon. Bye-bye.